So everybody, we are looking at today the uh, solar panel fitting. Um, so thanks for tuning in. Um, have a little watch and uh, you can see what I did to, to get this up here. Really pleased with how it's come out and um, thank you for everyone that's subscribed already. If you haven't already, um, just go down, click that button for me and subscribe. Um, it really helps me out and uh, hopefully you're enjoying the videos. So have a watch of this one, see what you think. Give me some feedback in the comments after asking any questions and uh, I'll do my best to get back to you all. Here I am up on my roof again. Um, what we've got is um, some fixing brackets. So it's solar panel day. So um, weather's come out nice. So get that done whilst it's good. Uh, and here we go. So I've got some brackets that I've bought. And what I've done is I've drilled them out so that they are um, six mil holes. So these are gonna match uh, all the bolts I've got for the solar panels. And they will also um, match what I've got for the uni strut, um, the fixings for that. So these are gonna sit, just get it here, on here, and the panel's gonna bolt through on here. So dead simple, um, which is what I want. Um, I just had to drill one out of 10 mil because I've got my uni strut fixings. Um, I've got the six mil ones and I've got one 10 mil one, and I don't want to order one fixing, which is about 20p and then pay nine pounds for delivery. So, um, that's that, but uh, yeah, we will see how it goes and I'll film through it as usual. So you can see now the panel is up. Um, literally by sheer fluke, I'll show you the brackets. I've put the brackets up and I've mounted them sort of backwards. So you can just see under there. And here we go, let me get it lined up there. Um, and they sit great. And I put the panel up and I had no impression that it was gonna sit perfectly. Um, I measured it obviously based on the panel for the for the Unistrut bars, but I hadn't measured it uh, in terms of, you know, how the brackets would fit. Um, and I just lined it up, put it on, and it's just dropped straight in. And that never happens. Um, the brackets just come sit back just slightly off the Unistrut, so it gave it a little extra space. And like I say, look, you can see they fit absolutely perfectly snug. So now all I've got to do is measure this gap here, so it's the same on everything, just for my own. Um, OCD and then uh, make sure that that's neat and then I'm going to drill a hole through the aluminium here very careful or mark it take it down drill a hole through the aluminium there um, and then I can bolt it through which might be a little bit tricky but I think I've just left myself enough space to get my hands under and put those bolts through but we'll see
panel is up and on and in the brackets. And as you can see, I've managed to get the, uh, the bumps through there as well. My biggest problem is, as you can imagine, getting my hands underneath to get the uh, to get the nuts on because my uh, my hands are quite big, so I'm struggling. There's just a couple that I'm struggling to get under. And um, got these two in uh, up this end, so it's just getting those two up that end. So I think I'm going to have to sort of climb over the roof that way, position myself that way, so I can put my hand backwards and under and in. But I'm really pleased with how the brackets fit. I mean, they're just absolutely spot on. It's just sheer luck. Um, the panel's slightly elevated, which actually I wanted, because I still can get under here to clean um, and get that, keep that all cleaned up um, so it doesn't you know, go really manky. And putting the decking on the other day was an absolute result in terms of uh, helping me get this, uh, get this panel on. I've been able to lie on it and and do different bits and pieces while standing on it and put the tools on it etc etc so for once i've actually done something in an order that sort of made some logical sense but i'm gonna crack on now and try and get these other two bolts on uh, sorry nuts on and uh, and then i can tighten it all up and then it's a case of the cables are that end so they're going to run underneath i've got to decide exactly where i'm going to drill through to bring it through um, I think just in front of this panel, because even if one day I decide to put a second panel up, which wouldn't be a problem, that would fit, no problem, because it is pretty much bang on halfway, um, then um, I can still sort of daisy chain it and bring it through and drill through next to the max fan and put the uh, put the little cover there. But we'll see. We'll have a little look once I've got it all bolted up. Solar panel is on. All nice and tightened up, all bolted down. You can just about see the brackets on there, but they blend in quite well because of the colour. Um, yeah, really pleased, really rigid. It's going to obviously have to check it over the next few days, but uh, as it stands, it's on and it's awesome. So now I've got to do the scary bit and drill a hole in the roof again, which is not my favourite thing in the world to do. But there you go. And as you can see, still hopefully a bit of space down here for the paddleboard to fit. Um, I haven't measured it yet, but the paddleboard's 26 inches wide. Um, it might just fit there next to the max fan because it will go the full length of the van, but we will see. So on to the next bit. Okay, phase two. What I've done is um, I've had to cut the connector off here because obviously it needs to go through here, the wires, um, to go through then into the roof. I'm going to triple check in a second that I've, I'm going through into the right spot before I drill through, obviously, inside the van. But I wanted it on this side because it means it's going to connect up with the wiring loom that's already here and goes through the bottom. So I want to make sure that that's in the right place. Um, so, um, but you have to unscrew these connectors first. Um, again, I'm no novice. Um, I think probably you should be careful when you're doing this and see if there's any sun out, um, especially so that you don't get a shock, but it should be okay. Um, I've seen people put blankets over or whatever. So now I can feed this cable through here, get it through as far as I can, because actually I want as much cable as possible. And then I can just untwist the cables. I made a note, obviously, of which one was the positive and which one was the negative. So the negative has got this on it already, so it's quite handy. Um, and then, yeah, pull this through so it's reasonably tight and it's going to go where I want it. And now I can do this up. And that's just going to ratchet up, hopefully. And hopefully the cables don't move once it's tightened up. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Do the same on the other side. Not forgetting, obviously, to put the uh, to put the bit on that has just disappeared. Typical. It's already on the cable. Feed it through. Aha! Second problem. There we go. Okay, so they're both sitting nicely now. Obviously, I can adjust them again, but um, tighten that up, get them nice and tight. That's how I can obviously loosen them off. If I need to move them about in a second. But that's now given me cables through there. Now I can put it together. I'm just going to measure that gap, so then I need to drill the hole, obviously, big enough for those to go through. I can then put this down onto and I'll check the inside of the van first to make sure it's all good. 
and then another scary drill a hole in the roof. I'm not a fan of, but so far so good. So fingers crossed. So I've been checking out the bits. I've used one of these bits. Um, it means that it's got measurements on it as to how big a hole, so it's a stepped, a stepped bit. So I know that when you put these together, it's going to be about 14. I'm going to have to drill a 14 mil hole um, in the roof. It's a little bit scary, yet again. I've looked underneath and I've got the door open so I can see um, where I am on here. And I get to that bag in the middle here um, and check underneath. Um, I'm lining it up with the Max fan so I know I'm not over one of the steel ridges. Um, so that's the plan. Whew, here goes. What I need to do now is go and get the hoover, hoover up all of this metal work. Um, check the holes, perfect. Yep. Hoover up all of this before it um, gets any rust. And then what I need to do is um, I'll just paint some hammerite around there to stop it from going rusty. And then I can silicon the box down. So, yeah, good so far. Okay, so I've uh, hammerited the edges. Just going to feed the cables through. Um, bad news is it started raining a little bit, so get these through there. Pull this to where I want it. Just check that looks all good. Tighten those up a bit. Now I'm going to see flex this down. I've already degreased the top of the roof, so I can uh, see flex that. I need a bit more slack on the cables because it's pulling this offline. So if I pull this through and get a bit more slack, then it shouldn't pull on the on the nodule, and it will let it sit flat. Hopefully. Seal of Sikaflex here. do is I'll go around wipe away the excess and that's down okay and that's done that should be good um, I will go around the edge with a bit of sick flex as well um, it's literally just started raining so hopefully this isn't going to be enough rain that's going to stay all day, um, but hopefully 
like I say, I'll put a rim around there and it should be fine. There should be no water leaking in there. Put a triple check by just getting a nice seal around it with some extra Sikaflex later on. Um, and now I can go inside the van. And that is the solar panel done. Um, obviously I've got to wire it all through inside, but that's all the roof jobs done now. Um, really pleased, that means I can now get inside the van. Um, sort of things I found that were good and things that were a problem um, were obviously the roof panel, just making sure with the solar panel that I got it lined up with the brackets um, and that it's tightened up with the brackets. Uh, I need to check all that. So, typical, just stop filming, bin lorry comes along. So, catch you later. Wires are through on the inside, so you can see them popping through there. So, uh, they will get joined up. I'll get some more solar wire and then run that all the way down. My controller's gonna be at the at the back of the van. Um, yeah, back there. So I'm gonna probably run it along along here with the other wiring, because um, that's gonna get covered up by the cupboards when they go up the top eventually. Um, but they're a, they're a job for tomorrow, so that's all done. But it's been good. It's uh, not been too bad a job. Um, I'm sure there's people with different ideas about how they do it. and other bits and pieces but um, obviously not only knowing what I know then I'm quite pleased with how it's all panned out so now I can move inside so that's all the outside jobs done I think um, for now so now I can move inside I've just started insulating as you can see um, with the plastic bottle stuff there and then I'm going to get the um, Celtex stuff Celtex stuff to go over the top on the roof and um, in these panels here and I've got the pin stick pins to do that but that's going to be another video um, but I won't make that too long because it's uh, fairly obvious what you're doing um, and there's loads of stuff out there about it so really happy move inside and I can start cracking on and get this done because uh, I need to use this fan